When you're getting your seed tested, it's important to test for the germination, for the vigor, and to do a complete fungal scan, as well as getting the thousand kernel weight of your seed and getting a smut test if you're testing something like barley. When you get your seed test result back, your numbers may look something like this. There's a lot of information on those sheets, so I'm going to walk you through some of the things that I look at on your seed test result. The first of them being your germination number. So the germination number uh, gives you a good indication of how many of your seeds you plant will germinate. This is under ideal conditions, whereas your vigor in most cases is going to tell you how many of those seeds will grow and emerge under cool, stressed out conditions. Although vigor isn't regulated by seed labs, most seed labs are testing up to five degrees Celsius, so it's a good indicator. If your germ and vigor numbers vary by more than 10%, it could be an indication of problems with your seed because you don't want a seed, seed that has a great germination, but under cool conditions won't give you the yield that you're looking for and those plants won't stay viable for you. Next, you'll see a lot of diseases listed under your seed test result. I'm gonna walk you through which diseases you should look at and that could be problematic first. So you have your very problematic um, or pathogenic, in this case, diseases, which would be diseases like your C. sativus and your fusarium, which are highlighted above. These diseases can lead to reduced plant stance and ultimately reduced yields uh, at the end of the day. You have moderately and weakly pathogenic diseases as well, and they're listed above with what they can cause, but they ultimately don't reduce the yield the same way, and so we're not going to focus on these today. One question I get a lot is around the alternaria numbers. They can often come back very high, and again, by just knowing that this is not your problematic disease, it shouldn't be an indicator of whether or not you'll use this seed uh, to seed on your farm this year. So get your seed tested. Make sure you're looking at the right numbers on the seed test. Determining what seeding rate from the seed test will benefit your farm and your goals is all a great step and first tool in starting your year.